This match has a lot of significance. It sure does, and it's been a long time since I wrestled in Houston. It's been two years since I've wrestled anywhere professionally. I was in Houston in the early years of the American Football League. Good friend Hogan Warden, Bob Talamini, two of the toughest guards that ever played for the Oilers. Another good friend down there, Gary Kutzinger, former All-American and All-Pro. Any one of those guys can tell you, I may not be the prettiest, slickest guy going. But, brother, when it gets down to dealing, one-on-one, -on -one, without any finesse, just destroying somebody, there's nobody that ever topped me. And I got somebody bad to the bone, Stagger Lee, a man that only gets to see daylight on special occasions. And he's coming with me. Now, this has got some strange stipulations. If the Express beats us, I got to work for that sissy for six months. I'd rather drink a quart of casserole. And Stagger Lee has to unmask. And he doesn't mean to show his face. But if we beat him, and brother, we're coming to beat him, then Jimmy Cornette gets to come out of the closet. That little sweetie gets to do what all of them really want to do. Be there and let every one of you see as we strip him down and that pasty body, that egg shape where his hips are wider than his shoulders, down these pink panties where his polka dot BVDs. Ha! Ha! His mother's really a style lady, isn't she? Looks like a moo-moo for a gorilla. But it's going to be right on you, Cornette, and you're going to get to waltz around. And when you're talking about memories and the Ponderosa, let's remember one other thing. My pride's not back with my scrapbook. I'm not in shape for a long campaign. But I played a lot of racquetball. I've been pushing that iron all my life. And, brother, for one time, one time where you not have to go a long time, all I got to do is put you down for three seconds. Stagger Lee, the last stampede, the only stampede, we're going to beat you. We're going to do it as good as I know how. They're saying this is the biggest thing that's ever happened to Houston wrestling. And I can go along with that. And it's the biggest thing that's ever going to happen to Bill Watts tomorrow. In the Sam Houston Coliseum, you people will see Bill Watts become my servant, my slave, the only man who stands in my way of dominating Mid-South Wrestling, of leading it, is a man with a mouth full of memories that talks about how he used to do this, and he used to do that. You were a big deal, Watts, before electricity. But I am now. The Midnight Express is now. And you will never humiliate me by putting me in a dress. In Houston, you'll work for me. Well, Bill, you heard those comments, same as uh, we all did here. And uh, he sounds a little bit, uh, a little anxious. Well, Jim, you know one thing about memories? Memories could also be interpreted tradition. And the tradition I set the first time I walked into Houston, fresh out, fresh out of the Oklahoma University, was I wrestled for the Texas heavyweight title. They had a big, huge, strong man named Sailor Art Thomas back in the days when they had two out of three falls. Morris Siegel was alive. Paul Bosch was very active, but he wasn't the promoter then. But I beat the first time I ever came to Houston and won the Texas title. And you're talking about when Mark Lewin was running around over everybody. Danny McShane, Nick Kozak, Dory Dixon, uh, Lou Thez was the world's champion, the Von Bronners, uh, Cyclone Negro. So you're talking about some names out of the past. And I was right there with them. And I realized exactly what I'm talking about when you're trying to transcend time. But two years ago when I retired, I did it because I wanted to. But I didn't put my pride away. It's there, and the fire burns deep. And you can't let somebody walk over you. No matter what, you got to put it up or shut it up. And I'm putting it up, and I got staggerly bad to the bone. He's going to be my partner. And I found a dress. Looks like the high-type fashion dress his mommy would wear. But that closet queen is going to get to come out. We're going to strip him down to his silk underwear or his polka dot panties. We're going to dress him and let him swish around that ring because all I want, I don't want the title, I don't want a long campaign, I want the last stampede. And Paul Bosch and Houston, you've given it to me. And, and Stagger Lee and Cowboy Bill Watts are going to do it one time, just as good as we can.